It's official. Virgin Galactic now has a fleet, thanks to its shiny new spaceship. It's been more than a decade since Richard Branson's space tourism company introduced us to a new class of spaceship. So will this be the one to finally get tourists into space? On Tuesday at its spaceport in New Mexico, Virgin Galactic opened the doors for the VSS Imagine, the first space plane in the company's new class of Spaceship 3 vehicles. Branson, of course, remotely delivered remarks for the occasion. A huge congratulations to our spaceship builders, the brilliant engineers and technicians who have brought this dream so magnificently to life. Our hope for all those who travel on this spaceship is that it will offer new horizons, fresh perspectives, and spark ideas that will bring positive change to our beautiful planet. Fun fact, that's future Virgin astronaut Dee Chester towing the spacecraft in her Astronaut Edition Range Rover. I didn't know that was a thing. Apparently it is. Google it if you want to know more. Also worth noting, future astronaut is how Virgin refers to its paying customers. They're not like NASA astronauts. You'll notice it looks pretty different than Virgin's most recent craft, the VSS Unity. Most notably is Imagine's shiny, mirror-like exterior. The company says that's designed to reflect the spaceship's surrounding environment as it travels from Earth to sky to space. And in addition to providing thermal protection, Virgin says the material is, quote, naturally appealing to the human eye, reflecting our inherent human fascination with space and the transformative experience of spaceflight. Also, unlike the Unity, the Spaceship 3 class has a modular design that should make maintenance and production a lot quicker and easier. And that's gonna be key for Virgin's goal of flying 400 flights per year per spaceport. Now, like Unity, Imagine is designed to be carried to about 50,000 feet by another aircraft. At that point, it's dropped and the spacecraft's rocket blasted into suborbital space. That's where passengers will experience a few minutes of weightlessness and see the curve of the Earth all for a price tag of about a quarter of a million dollars per seat. Now both the Imagine and Unity are designed to carry two pilots and six passengers. Virgin says Imagine will begin ground tests soon with the goal of unpowered glide flights this summer. And it's already started production on its second Spaceship 3 class vehicle, which it's calling Inspire. Now meanwhile, Virgin is planning on a third suborbital test flight for Unity this May that will be the first from Virgin's location in New Mexico, which is also its commercial hub. Unity's last test flight was scrapped in December because of a computer problem, and the pilots were able to safely land. So there's still no exact timetable for when any space passengers are actually going to go up. But about 600 people have already reserved their seats. And of course, there's other players in this game. You've got Blue Origin, you've got SpaceX, and then there's that company Space Perspective that wants to take people to the edge of space in a balloon. Okay, all that being said, who do you think is gonna be the first company to put space tourists actually into space? If you think Virgin's gonna do it, put a plane in the comments. If you think SpaceX will do it, put a rocket in there. A feather for Blue Origin, and put a balloon in there, I think Space Perspective is gonna do it. As always, thanks so much for watching. I'm Andy Altman. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the future.